Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a mail server using HMail server on Azure. So simply from the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. So from this page click on get it now. After that from this product page simply click on create. And then you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and then choose a resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a name so I'm going to call mine as HMail server. After that choose the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and the size of your virtual machine. After that create a credential account for the administrator user on Windows Server 2019. So give yourself a username and then a password. Once that is done, simply click on review plus create. After this, wait for the validation process to complete. Once the validation process is done, simply click on create right over here to actually create this virtual machine. Once the deployment is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this, simply click on go to resource and then from this overview page, click on connect and then choose RDP. After that, what you are going to do is that you are going to click on this button that says download RDP file and once that file is downloaded simply click on it to launch this remote desktop connection. So click on connect and then click on more choices and use a different account and then type in the username and the password that you created while creating that virtual machine. Once that is done simply click on ok and then it is going to prompt you that you are trying to connect to a remote desktop. So click on yes and then wait for the connection to be established and also for the windows server to completely load. Now once inside the windows server, the next step that you want to do is that you want to configure the HMail administration configuration. For that simply click on this icon that says HMail admin and after that click on localhost and then click on connect and then it is going to ask you for the credentials. So the password for the administrator account is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Type that in and click on OK. Now this is going to open up this HMail administrator control panel. Now in here you want to get started with by adding a new domain. So click on add domain and then you're going to add in the domain that you currently have on which you have a mailing service. So for example, let's just go with something.com. But make sure to provide valid domain name, otherwise this HTML server would not work. After that, click on save and you can see that your domain has been created. But now you want to set up some user accounts within this domain. So click on accounts and then click on add. And then you will type in the address of your first user. Let's just go with user1 at something.com. And then you want to provide a password for this one. Once that is done, simply click on save and a new user has been added. We can add on more users like this. We can go user2 and give it a password and then save. Now as you can see that two of the users have been added to our domain. Now to ensure the working of this HMail server, what you want to do is that you want to specify the public host name of your domain or the email service provider. So click on settings, click on this tiny plus icon expand the settings and then expand the protocols and then click on SMTP. Now in this SMTP you're going to switch over to the tab that says delivery of email and then under local host name you're going to type in the full host name of your email provider. For example if I have an email service running on something.com then I would have something like mail dot something dot com and the last step is to actually type in the SMTP relay configuration. Now under this remote host name, you're going to type in the host name of your ISP's email server along with your credentials on that server. So if my server is mail.something.com and then I need to also provide the credentials for an account on this server and my account was CIS admin and the respective password. Once that is done, simply click on save and your HMail server is up and running on Azure. 
Now that brings us to the end of this video. Now if you have any queries regarding this video, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And also make sure to check out the links in the description box for the step by step blog post listing on how to set up HML server on Azure and also for the marketplace listing for Azure. And we also have included that link for the official documentation on how to set up HML server by HML server. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.